Hello Internet, today we're going to talk about advanced riding techniques, whether you ride supermoto, road racing, or you're just a street rider. Uh, there's going to be some great information in this video. A little bit about me, I've already taken the Superbike School before this, I've done the American Super Camp, I've done Rich Oliver's Mystery School, I've done a uh, countless number of track days, I want to say 50 plus. I raced AFM for a little while, I've done some Supermoto. And this video is to share my experience with Tyler O'Hara back in 2011, which was about five years ago, I know a long time. I did a one-on-one -on -one session with him and I have some footage from it and I, had, I wrote down notes, I took lots of notes when I did it. So I want to share these notes because I felt like they're very valuable to me and maybe they'll help you out with your writing. I definitely think if you have the opportunity and if Tyler's still doing it, you do the one-on-one. -on -one. I think there's nothing better than that experience. But some of these drills and some of these techniques can be used uh, today. You can kind of get started. So that way when you do get in front of somebody like a Tyler or like a Ken Hill or a Keith Code or any or Rich Oliver, any of these pros, they're gonna the feedback they give you is gonna make more sense to you, and it's gonna be able to to ch change that advice into practice and and get you better lap times, make you a safer rider. Some of the things he he mentioned, number one was on breathing. Something that you might not think about when you're riding is especially on a racetrack that every time there's a straightaway that's your time to breathe and lower your heart rate because in general most people have a really high heart rate when they're riding a motorcycle so in the straightaways when you don't have to focus a lot of attention on gear changing or corner speed or brake pressure that's your time to breathe where i was just watching the moto america race and they were at laguna seca and a lot of the commentators were saying how that racetrack only has the one straightaway and almost everything else you know it's a turn or something going on and that's very true but most racetracks besides Laguna Seca do have straightaways and that's your time to breathe and get regained focus. Some body positioning advice especially this is uh, catered towards supermoto and dirt bike riding is pretend you're turning the knob on a radio like in your car or pretend you're screwing in a screw think about how you hold that screwdriver or how you hold that knob with your two fingers that's the same way you're going to spin your throttle on a uh, on a supermoto bike so make sure you have that hand positioning down and practice it to get comfortable with your hand there second is outside elbow up you'll see in these videos my elbows are always down because i'm used to road racing and being all tucked in and uh, dirt bike riding and supermoto elbows out. Up your your upper your outer el elbow should be up. Slouch chest. So go ahead and Google slouch. You'll see what a slouch chest looks like. Crack to crack on the seat. That means your butt crack on this either side of the seat, depending on which on the outside side of the seat. So whichever uh, side is the outside side for that turn, you want your butt crack on that line of the seat. Push the bike down. Uh, Many people, especially if you come from street riding, that when you're doing supermoto, that you actually, you're pushing the bike to the ground, like you're throwing it onto the ground. And the last one, braking, uh, there's two parts. Try using your palms to brace the bars better, as well as, um, and use your thighs. Gripping your thighs around the bike is gonna allow you to put less force on the front of your hands, which is gonna help with your, your arm pump and your, your arm fatigue as well. Now drills, uh, Keith Code does this as well, I've noticed, which is your first couple sessions, you just wanna practice different drills. So maybe the first session you go out there and you just don't use any brakes, where you're just using the engine braking and you're just trying to get used to corner speed and getting used to the bike because brakes are overwhelming. So this is gonna allow you to kind of get around the track and be more mindful. Next, only use the rear brake and don't be afraid to lock it up, especially with Supermoto get used to, and, and dirt bike riding, get used to the brake locking up occasionally. It's not the end of the world. It's actually good to get comfortable with what that feels like when the brake is, is being uh, locked. Third thing, front brake only. So this time no rear brake, but just use the front brake. And then you can try left hand on the gas tank the entire time. I've also done this at American Super Camp. They do this. It's just right around the track with your left hand on the front of the gas tank where you're only holding on the handlebars with your right hand. You can't do it with the other hand because you have a throttle. Now go slow to go fast, which is kind of everything you've done to this point, which is do things slowly, do things that take less brain capacity in order to get working up to go fast. Next is, is practice your on and off throttle when you're cracking it on and getting back on and just smooth rolling and smooth rolling off. You don't wanna just chop the throttle. That's how you get into trouble. Smooth is fast. 
abrupt is not fast. Also, now that you try that on the throttle, now try it on your brake as well. Smooth on the, applying the brakes and smooth off the brakes. The less disruptive you are, the better the suspension is going to travel, the better you're going to have traction. It all works together. Another drill is hitting your lines. It's going around the racetrack and making sure every time you go around each corner, you're hitting the exact apex each time. And lastly, do all these drills and do them again. Repetition, get to the point where you can do it almost exactly with the same lap times, making zero mistakes. You look at Jorge Lorenzo right now in MotoGP, and the reason he does so well is he is just so consistent. You look at his lap times, they're within tenths of a second each time. Like, think about how crazy that is to be able to do that. And your body's fatiguing and the brakes are fading and there's all these things changing on your bike and your body, yet you're able to adapt and still keep that repetition going. When you get to that level, I'd say you've made it. But until then, if you're like me, you got a lot of practice to go until that happens. Now, a great thing to remember as we kind of wrap up here is above all, have fun. At the end of the day, if you're not enjoying riding, if you just want to be fast, to be fast, you just want to like brag to people, you're doing this for the wrong reason, you're going to burn out, don't do it. Do it to have fun. The whole point of motorcycling is it's a great sport and people love doing it and the community is great. So have fun, enjoy it. Next, when practicing or at the racetrack, make goals, not outcomes. So a lot of people go to the racetrack and they're like, oh, I want to drop a second off my times. And it's like, okay, that's an outcome for for you to do something, but you need to have a goal. Like, are you going to push your brake marker? Or are you going to work on a specific cor corner? You're going to get more comfortable in a corner. So don't necessarily have just an outcome. Have some little goals um, that you're going to be able to conquer within those. Follow the fast guys and ask lots of questions. See what the fast people are doing, because if they're getting around the track fast, they're doing something right. If people are crashing all the time, don't follow those guys. But the fast guys, you'll notice, they don't often crash much, yet they're so fast. So follow them around, ask them questions. And then another couple drills that you might be able to try is adjust your settings, like on your suspension, your rebound, and your fast rebound. Try try clicking those in and out a couple times and just see how it feels and practice. Even if it's bad, you, at least you learn how to ride the bike better or you get to know what that feels like. Um, adjusting the tire pressure. Don't get too crazy with that, but different things you can do on the bike just to get used to riding. And if you can get the fundamentals down, then you're going to be able to go faster and faster and faster. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, again, if you can support local riders and coaches, please do. I felt like this would be great information to share uh, because it was so helpful to me with my riding. And I think a combination of learning both you know through YouTube videos and reading and then going out and practicing it is really going to make you a safer rider and a faster rider. So keep on learning, keep on having fun. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it and subscribe.